Before we get into this video, I was just editing this, and I want to say this is one test, and this is a puncture test, and just because in this test things don't go exactly how we may have hoped, it doesn't mean that these batteries are dangerous or unsafe. They're still one of the safest chemistries on the market. So don't let this turn you off of lithium iron phosphate batteries because we're going to do other tests like overcharging, uh, short circuiting, all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for those and don't judge a battery chemistry as a whole based on just this one test. Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. I've gotten a lot of questions over the last few months of how safe lithium iron phosphate batteries are. And in this case, we're talking about prismatic cells. Right here behind me on the ground is a battery I'm testing for reasons that I can't disclose. But if you look closely at the terminals, I've already shorted it out and uh, pretty much melted away the terminals and had no real excitement other than the fact that the terminals melted. Now another thing I tested was shorting from the aluminum terminals to the aluminum case. And even though I was showing some voltage on the case, uh, there was no real power behind it. So if I shorted either terminal to the case, there was no flow of current. So I tested the shorting on this uh, with that uh, piece of copper pipe. And now what I wanna test is what happens if you puncture the batteries. So I have a spear here. You can see there's a sharp point on it. This is, uh, you use this when you're digging like a trench uh, you can knock the rocks off the side or something like that. There is a uh, chisel type end on the other side. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take this because it's heavy. It's got a lot of mass to it. I'm going to send it into that battery and then run. <laughs> and I want to see what happens to this battery when it's punctured. Uh, this aluminum case is pretty soft, so in theory, this should go right through it and into those cells. So without further ado, let's give it a try. No fire, although it's got my pick pretty good. I'm gonna stay downwind of it. Luckily, we've got plenty of out in the open space. It's actually glowing in there, red hot. But no fire, so that's awesome. think I should puncture it again? What do you think, Jarrett? Sure, give it a shot. Now there is fire. It appears there's a uh, liquid electrolyte in there that's flammable. All right, let's get back. Because that thing is swelling quite a bit.
anything about that. That's crazy. That it's on fire. Yeah. What do you think happens if I stab it again? That was actually pretty easy for it to go through there. And it's a really interesting clear fire. Wonder if we flip it over and stab it from the other side now. Anything happen? It appears that it stopped glowing inside. So that's good. I mean, that spear I just sent almost went clear through the battery. But uh, yeah, that cell is definitely uh, toast and on fire. So anyway, I hope you guys don't get too upset that I burned up a what appeared to be good lithium battery, but it actually isn't. This one has some issues. So that's why we used it for this demonstration. But uh, I find it really interesting, the fact that a lithium iron phosphate battery actually can catch fire. I was under the impression that they released vapors, but no flames. And uh, as you can see, it's definitely in flames. So uh, definitely something to consider. Uh, still a lot safer than lithium ion like 18650s and those kind of chemistries because those chemistries when they're burning they provide their own oxygen to the fire. If I were to take this and put let's say a five gallon bucket over it it would suffocate the oxygen from here and that fire would go out. Uh, but yeah uh, interesting test to say the least. So if you're new to the channel please hit the subscribe button down below to see further testing. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment any questions or, you know, hate comments or, well, whatever you want down below. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.